Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how I use ChatGPT in my day-to-day -day life as a bioinformatician and how you can use it as well to improve your productivity and get more work done. Now, if you've not heard of ChatGPT by now, it's basically an AI chatbot developed by a company called OpenAI that has the ability to understand and generate human-like text. It can be used for a wide range of tasks from answering questions to generating text and it can be particularly useful in the field of bioinformatics. In this video, we'll take a closer look at ChatGPT and how it can be used in the field of bioinformatics. So stay tuned. As a bioinformatician, finding accurate and relevant information quickly is very important for staying on top of my work. That's why I've started using ChatGPT as my go-to search engine. Instead of sifting through countless search results on Google, ChatGPT's natural language processing capabilities allow it to understand my questions and provide accurate and relevant answers in a matter of seconds. Let me show you an example. Let's say I wanted to know what Nextflow is and how it's used in bioinformatics. I would just go to the ChatGPT interface and type my question directly into the search box. ChatGPT would give me the answer immediately and it also remembers what questions you've asked previously. So if I wanted now to ask up some follow-up follow questions, I could do that. I wouldn't have to provide all the information again because it remembers what I asked previously. Additionally to explaining how certain bioinformatics tools work, you can use ChatGPT to explain complex concepts in layman's terms. So for example, let's say you want to know how a certain algorithm works. You can ask ChatGPT to explain how it works as if they were explaining it to a five-year-old. Let me show you another example. Here I've asked it to explain how the BLAST algorithm works. And as you can see, it generates quite a poetic response explaining how it works, but in a very human readable and understandable way. So in summary, it saves me a lot of time and effort searching for information online, allowing me to focus on the more important aspects of my work. If you're looking for more efficient and effective ways to retrieve information, then I suggest giving ChatGPT a try. The second way I use ChatGPT is to help me with coding projects. As a bioinformatician, I spend a lot of my time coding and I know how frustrating it can be to spend hours debugging or trying to figure out how someone else's code works. And that's why I've started to use ChatGPT to assist me in my coding projects. One of the best things about this tool is it can actually write code for you. Let me show you an example. Here I'm asking it to write me a function in Python to calculate the GC content of a DNA strand. In the user interface, it has syntax highlighting and you can copy an entire code block directly into your text editor using this copy code button at the top right. As well as helping me to code, ChatGPT has revolutionized my debugging process. Normally, I would have to sift through Google and Stack Overflow pages looking for someone that has the same error that I do. But now I can simply post my error into the ChatGPT search box and it will give me recommendations for solutions saves me tons of time. After doing this for over a month, I can say that it's very important to provide as much information to ChatGPT as you can regarding what you're trying to do, exact error message that's coming up, and any other information you think will be useful. The more information you provide, the more likely it is to give you the correct solution. I should also know it's not perfect. Like I've had times where I go down a bit of a rabbit hole. So ChatGPT will suggest a solution I try that, it doesn't work, or another error message pops up, and I end up having this long conversation with ChatGPT trying to figure out the problem. Also, sometimes it will present solutions that aren't accurate, so don't rely on this tool 100%, but it's definitely a useful tool to have available to you. It's worth noting that ChatGPT, the algorithm itself, was trained on data pre-2021. So if you're asking it questions relating to perhaps new programming languages um, or new packages which are more recent than that, the responses may not be accurate and it may not be able to provide you with the information you need. Another huge benefit with this tool is it can help with writing documentation for code and also writing comments for your code. So many times in the past, I've been given code from maybe a coworker and it's not been documented properly. And although they might know exactly how it works, if I'm looking at it for the first time, it can be very confusing. What you can do is you can paste a whole section of code into the ChatGPT chat box and ask it to add comments for you. It will automatically know what programming language you're using 
but it doesn't hurt to like tell ChatGPT that as well because the more information you provide the better is the response you're going to get but this is a big time saver there's also been times where i need to share code with someone else i haven't properly commented or documented the code i can again just ask ChatGPT, and it will do it instantly so to summarize ChatGPT has made my coding projects a lot more efficient and less frustrating if you're someone who codes i highly recommend trying this out it's going to save you a bunch of time and i think you'll be really impressed with it Another time-consuming task I have to do as a bioinformatics scientist is to write emails and just generally communicate with my co-workers. ChatGPT can be great for streamlining this process by assisting with writing emails and rephrasing messages or emails in a specific tone. So for me, I want to make sure when I'm communicating with collaborators that I'm talking in a professional and friendly manner. Uh, and sometimes I'm guilty of just being very direct. So one thing I've started doing is just asking ChatGPT to rephrase my message in a more friendly and formal way or more friendly and casual way, depending on the recipient. Let me show you a quick example. So here I've just asked it to rephrase this message in a more friendly way. I could also ask it to format this message in an email and it will spit out this template for you, which is very professional. And you can kind of have a conversation with ChatGPT um, if you want this message to be more casual or more formal, you just ask it to reformat the message in a certain tonality. So in this video, we've covered the three main ways I use ChatGPT in my day-to-day -day life as a bioinformatician. If you're interested in using it in your own work, I would highly recommend you give it a try. It's helped me a lot. Just remember, the more information you provide, the better. You should take some time when formatting the question because this will dictate the quality of the response. So that's a wrap. If you found this video interesting and informative, then leave a like, uh, drop a comment if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.